Hi, it's Darnell with D-Grill. Today I'm going to be smoking some salmon in the Green Mountain Grill's Daniel Boom pellet smoker. And this is the original Green Mountain Grill's Daniel Boom pellet smoker, so it has no special suffixes or extra at the end of its name. But it's about a little over two pounds of salmon, two fillets. I'm going to season them up with some Old Bay seasoning real good. And basically the cook is so simple, I don't even need to show you the profile, but basically I'm going to be smoking at 180 until they get to 150 meat temperature. Gonna let them hold it that uh, 180 for 30 minutes after they reach the 180 meat temperature to make sure that it's you know really solid cook. And you can do it differently if that's your preference, but that's what I'm doing. After that, I'll pull them off and just kind of let them rest for 30 minutes. And basically a closed container, a cover container closed up. And gonna let them basically reabsorb juices that way. I'm going to be using some Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone, well not, sorry, Green Mountain Grills Premium Gold Blend Pellets. Almost messed up getting that out, but it's Green Mountain Grills Premium Gold Blend Pellets that I'm going to be using for the cook. So I'm going to go ahead and get things warmed up since it's such a simple cook. Not even going to, hope there's no bugs bite me, but I'm not going to be like showing you the screen and all that stuff because it's a pretty simple cook. Like I said, 180 all the way. And once they hit 150, just let it continue for another 30 minutes after that. And that's basically it. So when I come back, I'll be showing you the meat going in and things will already be warmed up. But I forgot one thing. I forgot the weather report today. As you can hear, the birds are liking the weather. But it's currently 84 degrees Fahrenheit. It feels like 87 degrees and uh, the wind is going five miles an hour it's pretty light wind and the humidity let's see that's at 55 percent so it's a pretty nice day it's mostly cloudy but it's still a uh, pretty decent day out here so i'm gonna go ahead and do the smoke like i said when i get back i'll have the fish going in all right so here's the fish you might see it looks a little white on some of the meat that's because I didn't seal it up well when I put it in the freezer, so it caught some freezer burn. But we'll go with it anyway. And uh, gonna go ahead and get this hooked up. Having a little difficulty making the Wi-Fi connection. It was connected earlier to the grill, but now my phone's not connecting to it well. So I may just have to check temp manually, periodically. But either way, we'll be good to go, I do believe. Take some hours might take three four hours for it to get up the temp so we'll see i've got things on a mat this is the official green mountain grills i think it's like a grill mat or something like that they call it but i got it from uh somewhere that sells green mountain grill products years ago i'm just taking the meat probe just getting that in here since i'm having some wi-fi issues i'm going to get my I grill two, probably put that into the other piece and just track both pieces of meat. So I'll be back with the I grill two to hook that in. All right, I got the I grill two hooked up so that it can keep track of some meat without me having to open up all the time to check manually since I'm having some issues with the Wi Fi today. But Basically, gonna just go ahead and get it stuck in this piece here. And it's not gonna bother the door. I mean, the door still closes flush with that wire sticking out of it. But we'll just go ahead and let things cook for a while. I'll keep an eye on things until the meat is 150, like I said. Let it go for 30 more minutes after that. And then we'll see what we got. Alright, so things have been going for three hours now. Basically, things hit 150 after about two and a half hours. I let it go another 30 minutes. Now the meat temperature on the eye grill too is reading like 158, so pretty hot fish. But uh, Wi-Fi never got working right. I'll have to play with that later. But I'm going to turn it off manually, so see if I can find it. All right, so I got it kicked over into fan-only mode to try and start shutting the thing down. But while it's doing that, I'll go ahead and get the fish off. But you can see how it looks there. I'm going to go ahead and get these meat probes out of the fish. Oops. 
soon. And I'll say, I've got other videos here on the channel where I like brine the fish before putting it on. I didn't want to brine it this time, didn't want to put a whole bunch of salt into the fish brining and whatnot. So I just basically seasoned it up with the old bay, got the salt from the old bay. And that's it. I didn't want the extra salt from the brine and the sugar and all that whatnot. Just went straight for it. It turned out pretty good from the looks of it. I don't see, I mean, there's some white stuff that came up a little, but not too much. What I'm going to do, I'm going to basically put some foil over this pan and just let it rest for maybe not even 30 minutes, maybe about, uh, maybe give it 20 minutes to rest. But I'll bring you on inside in a moment when things have rested for about 20 minutes. Okay, so things have been sitting in the pan covered for a little over 20 minutes now. Just to give any juices, if there are any, some <laughs> time to reabsorb. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's moisture on the foil, so there is some moisture still in that meat. Did not totally dry out. So I'm just kind of using the spatula to just kind of break the meat up, just to get a piece here. And uh, let me see if I can show you. You can see inside of the meat there. Looks pretty decent to me. Getting it over here on, onto my plate. And I'm just going to basically cut a piece and do a taste test with you. So. Let me just cut this off here. It's kind of falling apart on me there. It's got the skin on the back, by the way, so the skin's kind of tough. But let me get this out of the fork. We'll go ahead and do a taste test. We'll see how it tastes. All right, so thank God for this salmon. And go ahead and take this piece and taste. Okay, so the meat, you know, it's not the most moist salmon ever, but I do taste some smoke infusion. I think, I mean, between the freezer burn plus cooking it that high, yeah, it wasn't, you know, super moist, but it's not totally dry either. So all the same, turned out decent. The smoke adds some smoke flavor to it. So it's all cool in the end, all good edible meat. And so that's okay. And basically, if you do yours, you know, you can do a similar type of method and see how yours turns out. And, of course, if you wrap it better in the freezer, maybe it won't catch the freezer burn. And, you know, that all helps out as well. But basically, I wanted to show you how this would do, how it turned out. I was able to get the Internet connection going between the phone and the, uh, the grill after I was able to turn it off. It's connecting and all. So I have to see how it works in future cooks if everything works out. But, um, as I've said in previous videos, I've had it for years and never had a, you know, a real problem. So, this is like the first time the internet had a connection issue ever. So, we'll see if things continue forward okay. But, nothing in this video is sponsored. And in the video description, there's ways to help the channel. And if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Hit that notification icon. And good eating.